Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> hey there, I'm Sarah and this is Murray. Eight months ago, we set off to follow our dreams and travel the world full time. But there's a catch. We have a budget. So we've been looking for the cheapest ways to travel. And honestly, this whole budget travel thing has been going pretty great so far. And we've spent much less money than we anticipated, all while having rich and unforgettable cultural and travel experiences. And now our travels have brought us to the incredible country of Georgia. Subscribe to follow our journey around the world. Welcome to the day in the life of our workwear at a Georgian winery. And stay tuned to the end to find out just how delicious this wine really is. We spent two weeks living and working on a traditional Georgian winery in a village called Gartanachi in the Kacheti wine region of Georgia. If you've ever wondered what a day working on a winery looks like, here's your first class ticket. I almost forgot to make breakfast. This is by far our favorite job. We feed the puppies in the mornings and then again in the evenings. So now that the puppies are fed, and don't worry, you'll definitely see more of them throughout the day. We're heading to our main job for the day, and that is working in the vineyards. So our job is to clear out the weeds and the grass that are lying around the vines. So we are basically turning the field that looks like that into this. So you may be wondering, why are we doing this by hand? Now this is where the process gets really interesting. Welcome to Elizabeth's Winery 101. Okay, so traditionally European grape vines are spaced anywhere from 2 to 3 meters or 6 to 10 feet apart. Whereas Elizabeth's vines are just 1 meter or roughly 3 feet apart. He does not make use of man-made irrigation, but rather lets the environment do all the work. This tactic places the grapes into a stress state and together with the high density planting, results in a higher quality fruit and therefore wine. Also, where traditional European vines can have up to 40 grapes per vine, Elizabeth's vines yield just two, meaning that you basically have the equivalent of 40 grapes concentrated into just two. So the reason we start at 7 a.m. is because the sun gets really, really vicious later in the day and you tend to just stay out in the field working in full sunshine for your whole shift. So we learned this lesson the hard way the other day when we didn't start at 7 a.m. and since then we have changed our ways and it's really nice to know that even though it's an early start, you start at 7 but by 12 o'clock you're finished with your work for the day and you can go and do whatever you like with your afternoon. That have been following along for a while you'll know that we've done quite a few workaways and most of those workaways involved a lot of cleaning work so it's been really nice to have a bit of a change of scenery doing some different work being outside so much but what I will say is that by the end of the day by the end of our shift our backs are aching and we are ready to be done for the day thank you girl Peace. Peace. <laughs> it's breakfast time! So it's time to head in and have some actual breakfast this time. <laughs> we just finished with the first half of our shift and it's time to head upstairs to get some food. Just as a little side note, whenever we start in the mornings we put on loads of sunblock on any area that will be exposed to the sun. But seeing that we've been doing so much bending over, I have got burnt in a rather unusual spot. <laughs> 
on the bottom of my back. <laughs> <laughs> but before we're heading for, for some food, we have to make a quick pit stop. We gotta go, worked up quite an appetite and feeling starving. Bye guys! So we just finished off breakfast with a shot of cognac. You gotta love Georgia. We're heading back out into the fields now and we're sure you guys don't want to watch us weed. So what we'll show you instead is a tour that we went on of the wine cellar here and our host showed us exactly how Georgian wine is made. So this workaway is a family owned and run winery. So I guess that makes our host the wine master and he has graciously offered to take us on a tour of his winery and show us exactly how Georgian wine is made. Now to give you some context, wine in Georgia is a really big deal. They've been making wine for over 8,000 years and they are actually the birthplace of wine and where wine originated. So if you're having a glass of wine right now, take a moment to have a toast for those Georgians that decided to make wine all those years ago. So let's go take a look inside. Wow. These holes in the ground that you can see are traditional Georgian clay winemaking vessels called kvevris. Elizabeth has got 52 kvevris in his main cellar and another nine in his secondary cellar. The idea behind a kvevri is that it is dug underground and the ground acts as a temperature control for the wine during the fermentation process. The kvevris in Elizabeth's winery average around 2,500 litres, but you can only fill them to about 75% capacity because it needs an extra 25% to allow the carbon dioxide to escape during the fermentation process. If not, it just pops off the lid and bubbles over the top of the kvevri. Oh yeah, this is our host, Elizabeth. How many liters can no, you? So one hundred uh, thousand liters I can make. Mm. We make about uh, twenty thousand okay. liters per year. It's about one and a half so Wow. It's made for one tree. One tree. And it's from Swaneti region. Four or five people. Uh, had to squeeze about two hours. This was a traditional way of extracting the wine juices back in the day, but don't worry, they've since upgraded to a modern piece of equipment that does all of this for them. So the general idea behind it is that you'd have between four and five people jumping into a hollowed out tree and stomping for two hours on the freshly harvested grapes. The grape juice, together with the skins, stems and seeds, are then transferred into the equivity and sealed for the first initial fermentation process. After this process, it is opened and filled to 75% capacity with the leftover wines from the previous year's production process. It is then resealed and left to stand from September for 6 months to the following year, March. In March, it is reopened and all of the wine is drained using this specialized piece of equipment and is transferred into a vessel called an Enox. The wine is kept in this vessel to age for a further 5 years. You can go in with your own. Climb inside. Oh my goodness. Wow. I think we're going to have to do that, Mary. Are you ready for this, Mary? Oh. Uh oh. It's ready. Wow. You can, you can go. That is so deep. Just be Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh, Merrick, you're a I'm tall human. <gasps> and your hands are just getting over the... No, this is going to be scary for me. <laughs> What's it like in there? So much echo. Yo, that's very big. <laughs> Maybe I should go in a smaller one, I think. Yes, smaller. Okay, I'm freaking out a little bit. Okay. <laughs> You're gonna have to get down into your elbows first. Wow. Oh wow, there's the echo. <laughs> That's loud. Oh, I'm hurting my own ears. <laughs> <laughs> it's cold, hey? Yup. That's loud in my ears. 
recording the sun. Hello! My arms are literally from one side to the other. So if this was for the vlog, I'd be swimming in wine right now. <laughs> There we go. Yeah. That was a little bit scary, but really cool. Finally done in the field for the day. Feeling really hot and sweaty, aching back. But now is the time of the day when we get to go inside, drink a ton of water, and we have the afternoon free that we can do whatever we want. We would love to be relaxing right now, but we actually have work to do. This is the side of things that you oftentimes don't see, and it's the reality of traveling and doing work away and making videos on top of it all. But we are loving our travel experience and making all of these videos, so we really wouldn't have it any other way. It has been exactly two minutes and 34 seconds. And who are we kidding? Of course we have to go play with the puppy. Hi, baby. Wait, where are the other two? We have some terrible news. Two of the puppies were adopted and went to their new homes and we didn't even get a chance to say goodbye. Oh, uh, we'll show you guys some clips of all the puppies together before the other two went to their new homes. This place is honestly so incredible that we can't really sum up our entire experience into a one day video. So before we go up and carry on with our work, we want to give you guys a little compilation so that you can experience the sights and sounds that we've experienced during our time here. that just yet at the time of filming this video we've got some really exciting stuff coming for Sarah and Marek but by the time this video comes out maybe those things will be live we're not too sure yet so stay tuned and keep your eyes peeled so another really cool thing about this video in this particular work away is that if you look down there everywhere that you see cloud banks is actually part of the Caucasus mountain range. Now they only pop their heads out every few days and when they do it's only for a few minutes but when they do it is truly spectacular. Okay but enough procrastinating we've got a couple of hours of our own work ahead of us and then we're off to our last task for the day. Let us know in the comments down below if you have any clue what that is. Our last task for the day and honestly I wouldn't even call this a task it's a joy is feeding the puppies hey baby so that's our last task for the day Ooh. <laughs> they want more <laughs> that's our last task for the day done it's time to sit back and relax not really you guys know this by now. Obviously, we have to put a run into our daily routine. Let's go! Oh, obviously can't take this daily run.
Jeepers, you're fast, eh? Of course, it's my fast running and not the fact that we just planned this whole scene. <laughs> we wanted to tell you guys about the fact that there are so many different types of fruit trees here. One example is this cherry tree. It is full of cherries. You can literally just pick one off, pop it in your mouth, and off you go. Hmm. <laughs> Another fruit tree, a mulberry this time. Yet another fruit tree, except this time we have no idea what this fruit is. This is what it looks like. So if anyone knows what it is, let us know in the comments. run and there's something really special cooking up for dinner tonight. video telling you all about the winemaking process here, showing you our work in the fields, the wine cellar, telling you all about how Georgian wine is made. We thought it was high time we popped open a bottle of wine and had a little taste. So good. I'm sure you noticed this is like a a different kind of color it's like an amber orangey color of wine we've never seen that color of wine before coming here it's actually caused from like the quivery process and from the time that the wine spends in the quivery the clay from the quivery pot gives off some of this color into the wine and i think it's beautiful it is the type of wine that you can just like carry on drinking and drinking and drinking it really is just so light and just so smooth and like crisp and fresh it pairs well with so many different types of foods and we know this because we've had it with almost every single meal we've drank this wine almost every single day since being here and we're still not tired of it it is so good and it's so different to any other wine we've ever tasted before okay but let's get into talking about our workwear experience at this Georgian winery. Overall, this has honestly been one of our best workwear experiences so far. It has been our most culturally rich experience. We've just had such a rich Georgian experience here and we've learned so much about the culture, the food. We've been eating Georgian food so much and eating meals with the family every day. We really feel like we've been welcomed in so much into this family and we've really enjoyed getting to know all of them and and our daily day-to-day -day experience of the Georgian culture. They really have made us just feel part of their family and just taken us in under the wing. One of the guys that's actually working here, he's like the carpenter, he's actually told us that we are now his extended family. We are his children now, <laughs> <laughs> which is quite fun. His name is Dato, so thank you Dato. We also see you as a father figure now. So the work has been quite tough. We started at seven every day and we end at 12. And you do work incredibly hard when you're out here in the fields doing the weeding, yeah. trimming the vines but it is just so rewarding once you get called in for that first breakfast shift and then you get called in for lunch after that and then you get called for dinner after that <laughs> with some wine they make you feel very very special here and they really just make you feel appreciated here which is honestly just amazing and it makes working those long hours on those hot days in the field just a little bit easier to top it all off we have loved the absolute beauty of this region there's massive mountains that we're looking out on there's adorable little puppies <laughs> there's a horse there's like goats and all sorts of animals Hello. and it's just been such a beautiful experience we've really loved our time here and even if you're not looking to do a work away itself the winery actually acts as an accommodation as and almost as a sort of mini restaurant so you can come here spend a couple of nights here and eat traditional georgian food which is as we said delicious <laughs> so we'll be leaving a link 
in the description to this winery as well as to this workaway for anyone that's interested in coming to this workaway and having your own amazing experience as well. We're just so appreciative to the Talakfatsa family as a whole for just bringing us in and teaching us so much, not only about the winemaking process, but just also the Georgian culture as a whole. So if you enjoyed this video, please do give it a like. And if you give it a like, cheers to you. <laughs> please do subscribe as well so you can join us on all our future adventures and Camarjos! Camarjos! <laughs>